I listened to other people's mock interviews every day till one month before my interview I had only two public mock interviews and a few private mocks. Even if you are not doing an interview, always listen to other people's mock interviews it helps. It rained very early this morning but we no send oh, the plan was to get to the embassy on time finally we got there by 6.03 am. After all the checks at different points, two of the checkpoints had issues with my passport photograph and my baby's own too. They said it's not clear but still accepted it. A lot of people were fidgeting but I kept a lighter mood I smiled throughout. Me and my husband, smiling good morning mom, while dropping my documents through the hole. Please ma, I have a letter from the professor I will be working with. V.O. Good morning smiling back, hold the letter. Me, OK ma, still smiling. V.O. Put your fingers for biometrics, did the same for my hubby. V.O. Looking at the screen, what do you do? Me, I am a licensed medical doctor currently working at one of the biggest private health institutions in Lagos where I treat and manage childhood diseases both in and outpatient, assist in surgeries, nanny screening, adolescent counseling, prepare. VO, cuts in, what will this masters do for you? Me, having worked in two different public hospitals, I discovered that the best way to help people is through preventive medicine, I mean preventing disease from happening in the first place through health education, health campaigns, free medical checkup, encouraging exclusive breastfeeding and public health offers me the skills needed for this. VO, nodding, facing my hubby, what do you do? Hubby, I can't not hear you well ma, and she repeated the question again I am a software engineer current working with VO, nodded in agreement, seems she knows the place. VO, turns to me, who will be covering your deficit me, I have a graduate assistantship to work with professor unfortunately, it did not reflect on my I-20, passing the letter to her. I have already gotten my I-20 before the assistantship contract came in. I was told to present this letter as I may not be able to get back my I-20 on time if the assistantship hits to reflect on it. V.O. What will you be doing after this program? Me, after my graduation, first I will be coming back to Nigeria to reunite with my hubby who I will leaving for the program. I will also take over the role of medical officer of health at a public health institution where I will be fully involved in public health research work organize health campaigns for emerging diseases, and advise public health workers on the best approach to health-related issues. Also I will work with my present place of work to create an NGO group that will focus on maternal and child health where I will help women and children from rural parts of Nigeria to easily access health care through free medical checkup, health education, VO, nodding, tuned to my hubby, how long are you staying in the US? Hubby, I will be staying for four weeks to help my wife settle faster and offer some emotional support. Me, I added immediately, he will be spending part of his annual leave with us. VO, cuts in, everything looks good I will be approving your visa. Take this white paper. What I discovered is that confidence is very important, we spoke confidently with smiles all through the interview. Even if you are saying rubbish, say it confidently, make sure it fits into the question ooh. The God factor can never be overemphasized. I prayed and believed. F1 and F2, good morning VO, good morning, what's the meaning of GRA? F1, graduate research assistant. VO, why did you choose this school F1 I chose Wayne State University because of VO, have you been to the United States before? F1, have never had any reason to. VO, what's your post study plan F1, I will be coming back to my alma mater to pick up the job of a lecturer and costume designer and for my long term goal I will be establishing a costume design institute here in Nigeria that will help us bridge the gap of lack of enough capable hands in the sector and it will also provide job opportunities for the youths. 
VO, I will be approving your visa take this white paper, the rest they say is history, smiley face, smiley face, my husband was not asked any questions. I returned all the glory to God. My confidence was in him not my assistantship and God really came through for us. Our interview didn't last up to five minutes. God's hands of favor were upon us. His process is nothing but grace because all the processes have just been by God's help. I would have loved to type it from my cold mailing to admission with no interview required and also to funding part to late passport application down to visa approval but I won't. I got my date just a week after I joined the date search, kissing face. It wasn't easy though. I had a lot of interviews though. A date on my interview day, I had a personal interview with a friend of mine and put down my name on two other groups. I was interviewed by one and was told to go and sleep on the other group which really pained me but helped me. I slept and woke up at 12 am, slept again and woke up at 2 am, I started praying, dancing and singing and I told my passport that I could not be bringing it home again with me. I did that till 5 am and went for the interview. Inside the main hall, I was praying my VO that would interview me should be a female and it happened gracefully. I was afraid when I saw the denial paper, I quickly removed my face and ears away from them, everyone with their problems ooh. Make person denial not affect my own approval. I still day say this word inside me that grace grace grace, this is my story vo, good morning. Me, good morning ma, already giving her the i20 and passport without asking me. Vo, pass me your document. Me, here it is. Vo, I hope you are fine this morning. Me, yes, I am fine, thank you very much ma. Vo, you are welcome. VO, why this school and course me, I chose SUNY at Binghamton because it is known as one of the R1 research institutions that provide a very high research activity for students offering electrical and electronics engineering where I will be working with Professor XYZ whose research interest aligns with mine in the area of ABC. Moreover, the school offers a very broad and wide course curriculum which will enable me to achieve my long-term goal of becoming a professor of electrical and electronics engineering. VO typing for like an hour. VO, tell me about your traveling history. Me, I had never traveled out of the country for once, she nodded. Typing. VO, when did you graduate? Me, I graduated April 2022. VO, oh I see. Keep typing. VO. How will you be funding your program? Me, the admission decision came alongside full funding which covers my tuition fee and other related expenses. VO, what are you required to do based on your assistantship? Me, I will be taking undergraduate students courses like computer engineering, control engineering, computer architectures, DSP digital signal processing because I was awarded a teaching assistantship. VO. What will you be doing after my program? Me, I will be returning back to Nigeria to take up a lecturing job at my alma mater XYZ after being equipped with the necessary skills and knowledge I will be needing in achieving my long-term goal of becoming a professor in electrical and electronics engineering. VO, I will be approving your visa me, thank you.